Forsaken, the next major expansion for Destiny, is upon us. Whether you're about to take the plunge as a new player or a seasoned fan looking for a recap, here's our five-minute crash course on the events of the Destiny saga thus far, leading up to the release of Destiny 2 Forsaken. In the mid-2000s, humanity discovered a giant spherical object called the Traveller. The discovery of this strange entity propelled humans into the Golden Age, a time of rapid technological advancement, but one which came to an abrupt end when the Traveller was damaged by a mysterious dark presence. This resulted in the Collapse, a dark age where much of civilization was wiped out, forcing surviving humans to form the Last City. The Traveller created ghosts, floating AI devices with the power to resurrect fallen warriors called Guardians. Guardians can wield the Traveler's mysterious energy, known as Light, against the Dark Forces. In the first game, your Guardian is woken by a ghost who is quickly attacked by enemies such as the Fallen, the Ferocious Hive, the Mind-Bending Vex, and the Hulking Cabal. As you fight off enemies and attempt to crush their plans to invade Earth, you discover a way to heal the Traveler by destroying the Black Heart, an entity intrinsically linked to the Dark Forces. You also form an alliance with the Elite Guardians, who coordinate the last city's defenses known as the Vanguard, comprised of Cade Six, Commander Zavala, and Ikora Ray. In the expansion The Dark Below, the Hive invade Earth, led by a god called Crota. But despite being a deity, the Guardians bring about his downfall and in turn destroy the attacking Hive. A fallen criminal named Skolas is the main villain in the House of Wolves expansion. Skolas unleashes a mutiny, leading the Fallen to murder a race they were formerly loyal to, the Awoken, a humanoid blue-skinned race residing in an opening debris field known as the Reef. The Queen of the Reef enlists the Guardian's help to capture him. In the Taken King expansion, Crota's father Oryx, who the Hive considered a god, seeks revenge for his murdered son. The Queen of the Reef also fights Oryx, but her forces are wiped out by the Hive God's army, and the Queen herself is feared dead. All is not lost though, and the Guardians make their way onto Oryx's ship and defeat the Taken King. Rise of Iron was the last expansion before Destiny 2, with Guardians facing a new enemy, Seaver-infested Fallen, elite aliens augmented by nanotechnology. On to Destiny 2. The Red Legion launch an assault on the last city led by the tyrannical ruler of the Cabal Empire, Dominus Gaul. Gaul finds a way to imprison the Traveller, stripping all Guardians of their light, essentially making them weak and mortal. Following a showdown with Gaul and Earth's elite guardians known as the Vanguard, you wake in the farm, a safe haven on the outskirts of the European Dead Zone. Here you learn the whereabouts of a shard of the Traveller, which eventually allows you to restore your light. After reuniting with fellow Vanguard members, the team concludes the best way to take back the last city is to eliminate the almighty, Gaul's star-killing superweapon. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? Not. The Guardians steal a ship and board the Almighty, disabling the cooling system and bringing it down from within. Meanwhile, Gaul's right-hand man, the Consul, questions his leader over his obsession with the Traveller, who responds in a very Gaul-like way. Gaul then attempts to harness the light, but the Traveller turns its power against him and destroys Gaul. In Curse of Osiris, Guardians must deal with the threat of Panoptes, the Vex Mind who commands the simulations of reality created by Mercury's Infinite Forest. In the follow-up Warmind expansion, the Vanguard head to Mars to save military AI Warmind Rasputin from the Hive God Nocris and Zol, a gargantuan Hive Worm God. It was all going so well until Petra, the Queen's Guard for the Reef, asks the Vanguard to deal with a prison breakout at the Prison of Elders. The guy behind the breakout is none other than Uldren, the Queen's brother. Uldren kills Cade Six and escapes from the prison aided by the Barons, a group of high-ranking fallen commanders. Now you must seek revenge by tracking down Uldren and delivering justice for Cade Six in Destiny 2's third expansion, Forsaken. And if you want even more info, check out everything you need to know about Destiny 2 Forsaken.